Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're having a good day so far. It's a very gloomy day here, unfortunately, but I'm hoping the sunshine will be back soon. Anyway, so today we're working on a family home, which is also a ranch home, um, which is exciting. Um, it's another custom build. Um, this is requested by another simmer. Um, I really like this build, honestly. Um, I sent this to the person who requested a build um, and they adored this build, so I was like, perfect. <laughs> it's a really gorgeous build and it's just really fun to make because I really like when builds are angled like this. I think I've said it before, but I just like when it's got a bit more, um, what's the word? I don't know, charisma to it then, in my opinion. <laughs> just makes it feel a bit more real, um, but yeah. I really like how this turned out. I've been liking making 50 by 50 size lots lately. I'm not quite sure why. I don't know why. I don't know why I like 50 by 50, but I think it gives you like enough space to have like a really big garden, which is kind of key when you're making like a, a ranch home. Um, I really like the entryway to this house. Um, I like that the roof is like, you know, kind of on the first floor but like going up to the second, you know what I mean? That big um, triangle section. Um, and the fact that we've got like a big um, chimney, that's the word. I was gonna say fireplace, but it wasn't a fireplace. Um, but yeah, I do really like this. I like the shape of it. Um, I'm wanting to do more big homes like this because I really enjoy doing them and I found like so many lovely homes on Pinterest. So I think next week's gonna be like a full week of ranch homes after I've edited my current builds. Um, I do have a few community lots to go up next week as well. Um, so I shall be editing those over the weekend. Um, then it will go up next week. So yes, but I really want to do some more ranch homes because I love them and I'm so excited for horses, guys. Um, I am not a huge fan of horses in themselves but any extra content is always great and I think the Sims team did an incredible job with this pack and they um, gave Simmers what they wanted um, so that's wonderful. I'm really looking forward to all of the builds I can create them and the fact that Breland the country singer did the songs and then he messaged me was like total fangirl moment so you know a double win <laughs> um, but I am actually excited for horses as much as they're not like you know a huge part of my real life I'm excited to have them in Sims to add like extra personalities to my Sims and to add more characteristics and you know just have a, a new style of gameplay to experiment so that'll be fun and I really need to learn how to make stables better um I know I said that yesterday but I was looking at some last night on Pinterest and I was like mm, I could do that I think I just haven't really looked into stables before or looked into making barns it's not something I've really done um I don't really build in the cottage living world because the lighting is slightly dim so when I'm recording it's usually in Willow Creek just because the lighting's good um, so I haven't really used the cottage living stuff much um, well not to make like a ranch style home anyway but it's definitely something I'm going to look forward to making now the pack is coming out in less than a week honestly I'm so excited um, I'm looking forward to seeing everyone's content that they're going to make because um, I've got some wonderful um, friends on Instagram who are really talented builders and cast creators, so that'll be fun. And my save file is coming out in less than a month on the 1st of August, um, so I shall hopefully include some content from the new pack as well. Um, I'm doing a pool build for my input in the safe. Um, not sure where I can include horses in that but I shall try and use some content from it. Um, but yeah, I did already make the pool and I was like mm, not too sure about it so I am going to remake it because I think I can do better. Um, I've got a good idea for it so that'll be another project for next week but I probably won't share the build until the save file is out. Um, but yeah, I've got so much footage, guys. <laughs> so much footage of all the builds I've done lately, I just need to get on to editing them. Um, my computer literally hates me for the amount of storage that I've used up for all of these screen records, but like, it's worth it. <laughs> um, so we're just moving on to the inside, we're doing the floor plan. I did have a bit of an issue with the roof and the walls um, because of the fact that it is angled, so it wasn't registering it as a room, but we got there in the end. It just takes a bit of fiddling around. But it was fine. Um, but yeah, 
I have had quite the day yet again with the online hate, which is delightful. I'm not gonna talk about it because I don't want this stream to stream. <laughs> Show so much I've streamed lately. This video to be negative, but um, yeah, I've had some very unpleasant people on the internet lately, and I just think it's kind of sad. I I personally don't really get bothered by hate because at the end of the day, these people literally don't know me at all. So how can you get bothered by someone's opinion when they know nothing about you, you know? Um, but, but yeah, it's still, it bothers me for the sake of other people, I guess. I wouldn't like someone else to read it and feel targeted or um, hurt by what someone else says. And I really don't want that to be like something that's on my content, I guess. Um, so that's kind of why I ever respond to it, just because I don't want other people to feel upset by something that someone else has said on my stuff, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, I'm doing well. Um, I'm excited to make lots of new content for you guys with the new pack, and I'm excited to upload all of my builds, which I need to edit. <laughs> um, but. Um, every weekend lately, I haven't been back to my computer, so it's been a bit difficult, but I do have all next week to do so, so that'll be fun. Um, I do have a restaurant to come out, I've got a nightclub slash bar, um, I've got my um, current legacy family that I was playing on um, live streams build to go out. Um, I haven't actually played Sims in a while, like actually played the game. Um, I've been mostly building, but um, I need to get back to gameplay as well because I do miss that family and if you guys are familiar with that stream, um, my sims Nia and Adeline are um, a lesbian couple. They've got 11 children, some of them are just Nia's before she met Adeline, but um, I haven't really wanted to play because Nia is an elder and she's in her like final days and I really don't want her to pass <laughs> so I moved them into a smaller house because they were living in a house in Tartosa but now they are living in where do they live in I think they're living in Willow Creek I could be wrong honestly it's been like over a month since I played with them because I don't want her to die <laughs> um, but yeah I I need to get back to them um, but I really need to start doing some more gameplay when the pack comes out and maybe we can play with that family or maybe start a completely new one, we shall see, or do both. Um, I do have another save uh, that I started that has a um, infant daughter, so maybe we'll play as her perhaps, maybe she can be like the equestrian, is that the right word? I don't know, I don't know, horse terms. <laughs> it's equestrian? I'm probably saying that really wrong now, but... <laughs> Well. Um, so this home I do believe was a 100 baby home, was it? It might not have been. No, it couldn't have been. There's not that many bedrooms, is there? Honestly, I don't remember. I did this like two weeks ago and I really do like this build. Um, it was partially pack limited. I didn't just go all out, so that was a bit challenging as well at times because when I'm building, I forget. <laughs> I just use what I can see. Um, but yeah, I did alter it at the end so the person had all of their um, specific builds included. Um, but yeah, I really like the shape of this lounge, this living space, I just think it's really nice. It's kind of like got little zones and the kids can like do their homework and I don't know, I just really like it. I think it's really cute. I like these chairs as well, I haven't used them in a very long time but I think it really suits this room. Um, and I love the fact they've got like a little horse on the uh, pictures. Um, also, I apologise if my voiceover isn't completely lining up with the visual. Um, because I have a lot of footage on this clip and it's like 25 minutes long, <laughs> it's slightly laggy when I'm recording it, so it could be slightly um, laggy. Well, it won't be laggy to you, but my voice might not match up with what's on the screen by like a few seconds, possibly. I'm not sure. It did that last time and I was like, but nothing I can do about it, so it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I really want to get back into creating YouTube content more often because I have slacked on it a little bit lately and I've been on Twitch more, which is fine, but I do miss um, YouTube. It's what I first started on and I'll always love YouTube. Um, it's definitely a difficult platform, I think, to get noticed on and to get 
recognition for all the hard work you do, but I'd never stop doing it unless I was like, I don't know, doing something that took all of my time because it is very time consuming, don't get me wrong, but I love it. So I've nearly been doing this for a year, which is crazy. Um, I can't believe I've got over 2000 subscribers. That's insane. I'm so grateful for all of you guys and all of you lovely people that I've met along the way. I know I talk a lot about the hate just because I feel like I should address it, but at the same time, I really don't want to like fuel their like narcissistic behavior and like give them power, if you know what I mean? I think people who just like hate want to respond and they want to just carry on and carry on. So I try not to respond to a point, but I also don't think it's appropriate some of the things they say if other people read them you know i hope you guys know what i mean um but yeah i really really do appreciate all of you nice people and i'm so grateful for the people i've met along the sims journey so far and i know i say it every time but it's so true like i've met the most lovely people through this platform and of course there's always going to be hate because it's the internet and it's the way of the world but you know ultimately there are wonderful people and there's so many talented people who i've met and yeah mostly my instagram gals that are really supportive and my little facebook group which i really appreciate and yeah i'm really grateful that i started doing this um i think when i first started it was kind of like mm, am i going to be able to like keep up with it am i going to be able to edit like other people do and I don't know how to make um, certain edits for Instagram and such but I think it's all a learning curve and I'm sure there's plenty I need to learn um, you know I don't think anyone ever fully knows everything unless you've been doing it for years perhaps but um, I enjoy learning you know even from like a month ago I'm like oh my content looks better now than it did then and um, that's good you know, it's not about being perfect and I think that's what a lot of people do struggle with because they want everything to be perfect or they just think they're not good enough and that's not the way it should be because, you know, I'm not perfect at building, I'm not perfect at anything, but it's just having fun and just being a nice person and I don't know, just, it's kind of what I try and live by. So yes, I think just trying to do your best at being a good person and just I don't know not adding to the drama is key and just I don't know just having a go you know having a go at editing and having a go at building and getting better and finding your like niche for like what skills you're good at you know I'm not good at certain types of builds I am a good builder um, but doesn't mean I'm good at I don't know like mythical homes so I'm okay at them but I have to like really try to be good at them, you know, whereas like family homes are kind of like it comes fairly easy to me, but that's because I've done it for like, I don't know, well, like five years maybe, um, six years perhaps, um, not as committed as I am now, obviously, <laughs> um, I didn't build every day, but I've always made family homes, it's kind of just what I enjoy to play, so that's what I've always made, but um, I think because I've spent a lot of time practicing making them, then it is easier for me. But mythical stuff and more community lot type builds aren't really my, like, you know, main focal point of what I'm good at. But it doesn't mean that I won't try. It doesn't mean that I don't enjoy them. And I think that's the main thing is that you should always at least give stuff a go. Maybe you don't like it. Maybe you find that it's just not what you enjoy. Um, but just give it a go and maybe you'll find like a new style that you love and then it's like a whole new realm of builds that you can create. And I think it's really important just to, you know, not just stick to one style. And I think personally, I do try and like work on my landscape skills because I don't, well, I'd say I don't, I actually do now, but I used to not enjoy doing landscaping and I really do like doing it now. I try to spend more time on the back gardens. Um, and yeah i think it's really helped me like get better at being a designer um by pushing myself to try new stuff um i'm not saying they're good <laughs> i'm not saying they're amazing but i try you know and i think that's really important and i think a lot of people on the internet do shoot people down for something they're not perfect at and i think that's really really not nice um, I've had a few comments of like, oh, you've barely got any landscaping or, you know, it's not very good or, and 
I don't get affected by stuff, but I think the thing that bothers me is that someone else could get that comment and it would affect them and it would shut them down. And I really don't want that to be something in my community. Um, anyone can say what they want to me. It doesn't really bother me, but I don't want someone else to read that and think, oh, am I not good enough? Or if hers looks like this, mine looks even worse than this. Or you know what I mean? I just, I really don't want any type of negativity to be a part of my name. <laughs> you know, I'm, I strive to have a positive community. I strive to, try and be as helpful and polite as possible. Um, my in real life personality and persona is certainly that. Um, I won't put up with any mess and don't get me wrong, but I will never try and be nasty to somebody or try and make a drama because it's just, what's the point, you know? Unless someone's done something terrible, then, you know, fair comment. But, you know, online drama is just so childish. Um, I have so many better things to be doing. And I think everyone's got their own struggles, you know, like ultimately these people who are being nasty probably have their own issues going on as well. So, you know, I don't really want to be mean back to them because what's the point? I don't want to make them feel worse, even if they're being horrible to me. Um, I'm just not like that. I just don't find joy in being rude to somebody and I really can't stand drama. I think the difficult thing being a content creator of any kind is that you don't want to address it because you don't want to give them that like power of thinking they've bothered you. But if you don't respond to it, then that also makes you look bad because then people who don't know you will think that the haters are being truthful um, when they're not. So it's just a difficult balance, I think. But I'm just so grateful I'm not a celebrity. <laughs> I'm so grateful I'm not like really well known, you know, like my little sims community is enough for me I, I couldn't deal with all of the drama that would come along with being someone well known um, I am a stage performer and a stage manager and um, I've always done work on stage and I think, you know, that's also a vulnerable position to be in where people can target you and can target your appearance and they can target the way you speak and the way you act, literally. Um, and I think everything I ever do puts me in a vulnerable position for being targeted, but that's just what the world is like. And I think as long as you know that you're doing the best you can of what you're doing, and you know that you're not purposefully trying to be a bad person in any way. There's nothing else you can do, you know? I think that's what you always have to remind yourself. Be the best person that you can be for yourself and for everyone around you. Do your utmost best, try your hardest. And if people still don't like that, that isn't your fault. You know, it really isn't your fault. Um, I think it's really important to like, have confidence in yourself knowing that what you're doing is good and that people will appreciate you for what you do. Um, I have so many people who absolutely love what I do and I really appreciate every single one of you and I've got people who are like, oh, I really want your build skills or, you know, I really want to be able to learn to edit. Can you teach me? Or, and it's so lovely. I love that side of it because I will do anything to help anybody out. Um, when I first started off doing YouTube, I had some people who would be willing to help me out easily, others who would pretend to be helpful and then just, you know, throw you under the bus. And I think when you first start off in this type of, you know, online environment, it's nice to have people who really do support you. Um, so if you guys ever need help with anything or want to learn about editing or, you know, um, building even, then just message me. I'm not saying I'm going to have all the free time in the world because I am very busy. <laughs> but I'm always here if you guys need help with anything. And yeah, just don't let anyone tell you that you can't do something or that you're not good at something. If you're trying your absolute hardest and you love what you do and you've got a good community behind you like I do, just don't stop for anyone, you know? I think... Um, a lot of stuff online gets twisted, um, unfortunately, and people just run with the one thing they see and that's the only thing that they take from something and it's just so petty, it really is petty and I don't like talking about it, I really don't, but I don't want to not address it as well just because I feel like people should know about it, they should know that people are being inappropriate and 
having false accusations online is hard sometimes. Um, I personally don't really get that bothered by it because I'm just used to it at this point. Plus, you know, what's cyberbullying really going to do? You know, I say that. It's going to do a lot to somebody that is struggling and to somebody who takes everything to heart and, you know, for people who get bothered by stuff like that. And that is why I respond to it because I do not want somebody who is a lovely person to read some of my comments and get affected by it. I say my comments, I meant comments about me. <laughs> not me saying anything bad. Um, but that's why I respond to stuff, I guess, and why sometimes I do remove comments. It's not because I'm trying to avoid the question or um, hide anything. I just don't want someone else to read it and be upset by it. So, you know, I think it's important just to always be as lovely as you can. And um, don't believe everything you hear on the internet. Please, guys. <laughs> Please. Oh, it's a very toxic environment sometimes, um, but it can also be wonderful. So just know your people. <laughs> know your people. Um, have your wits about you and just do the best you can at being the best version of you. Um, and you'll find the right people. So my words of wisdom for today, my 15, 20 minute rant. <laughs> Honestly, it's like my therapy session to myself, <laughs> just talking out loud. But yeah, in all seriousness, I'm always here for you guys if you need anything. And I really hope you enjoy my content. I absolutely adore this build. It was one of my favorites I've made. It's absolutely ginormous. <laughs> um, and I will be making a lot more builds next week because the horse ranch is coming out on Thursday, do you believe? So that'll be amazing. So I really hope you guys have the best weekend. I will be back on Monday. I will edit over the weekend. Um, Sunday night mostly because I'm not here the weekend but um, yeah I will see you guys next week and I will see you guys over on Instagram later on um, for the photos of this build obviously if you're watching these screenshots now you're already seeing them but if you want proper edited pictures of these screenshots they will be over on my Instagram later today so yes I wish you all the most wonderful day and the most wonderful weekend and I shall see you guys next time thank you guys for watching See you guys, bye.